Hey ADF fans, this is going to be a quick demonstration of using the rank transformation in your data flows. So you'd use rank in a, a big data analytics ETL pipeline where you want to rank across your entire data set, all of the data within your file or your database tables. So for a demo of the rank transformation, I'm going to use my file, a CSV file I have sitting in the data lake. This is a mocked up version of loans data, so that'll be a good example to use for a quick demo. I'm going to rank the loan amounts within this file. So after I have my source, I'm going to then add my rank transformation. The rank transformation is very simple. It's intended to be a quick and easy way to rank your data. There is also a rank function in the expression language in Data Factory's data flows. And with that, you have to use a window transformation to get to that. And the reason is because the rank function is meant to work across the partitioned data that is essentially part of the over clause of a window transformation. So what that means is the rank function will work across those partitioned sets of uh, data. So Data Factory with the window transformation will create those partitioned uh, data sets and then we'll rank those individually. So in the window columns what you would do is you would go into the expression builder and then you would use the rank function there. Okay, But if you want to perform this analytics across the entire data set, all of the data in that file or the database tables, then what you really want to do is use the rank transformation directly. All right, so let's go ahead and let's configure this rank transformation. I'm going to rank those loan amounts, like I said earlier. So let's go ahead and sort by the loan amounts. And I'm going to call this ranking as, um, we'll just say a loan ranking. That's pretty simple. You can set it for case insensitive, and you can also use dense ranking. I'll show you that in just a second. Let's just leave it at that and go ahead and do a data preview so you can see how, how um, simple we've made ranking for uh, big data analytics within your ETL pipeline. What's going to happen now is I'm going to get the full results set back. What you're most likely going to do is then pull out the ranking that you want to use within part of your um, data flow. So let me show you how to do that to see your results very easily and in a much smaller uh, viewport of just the columns you're interested in. So in this case, because I have this many columns, and by the way, the inspect will tell me that I have 75 columns, it's a little bit hard to see. So what I'm going to do is use a select, and the select is using a rule because there's so many columns. So what I can do is just go in there and I can modify this rule. Right now it's true, so it's giving me all the columns. But I know that the columns that I really want to see are going to be the column called loan amounts. That's what I'm ranking on. The uh, actual ranking position, which I called as loan ging just like that okay so double equals so anytime that the column is equal to that i'm going to bring that column through and that's all that i'm interested in seeing for this demonstration great let's go and do data preview and now we should just see those two columns now we can see the ranking of the loan amounts across the entire data set it's going to work very fast much better than a window instead of making an artificial window across or all of the rows which is what you had to do in the past you can now use the ranking transformation to rank that entire data set, all the data in the file is now ranked for me. Now in this case, you can see because there are one, two, three, four, five um, lowest loan amounts of 1,000, you can see the next loan ranking number is going to be six, unique, next unique is seven, eight, nine, and then 10 repeats. If you don't want those, uh, if you don't want uh, the spacing between those uh, ranking numbers, that's when you use dense rank. Not the select settings, sorry, back. Back on the rank settings, I can say use dense rank. Let's go to the select so we can see just those two columns of data. Refresh, and then you'll see the difference in the dense rank. So now when we have a common uh, value, it just increments for it stays at one, then increments to two for the next unique value, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's all you need to know to get started using the rank transformation in Data Factory's data flows.